Hello, good evening and welcome to Codebase Alpha. This is episode 80 and we're going to do a shader stream this evening. So we've got uh, Martin uh, here with us. Oh, there's uh, Gareth Hubble. Thank you so much for the um, for the subscription. That's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you're in uh, what we what we name in the stream, baby. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so yeah, we're going to um, we're going to do some uh, shader work today. Um, we've got more Martin in the uh, in the other uh, scene, so let's go straight over there and uh, say hello. Uh, where are we? Are? Hello. Hello there. How, how are you, Martin? I'm pretty good. Good. good? Uh, it's getting a bit lighter here, which is I appreciate because I all. Oh, bike to work oh, right. and I hate biking hate is the wrong word but I don't like biking when it's pitch black bet. Uh, so now today it was actually a little bit sun when I was going to work so it was a good thing yeah I'm, I'm currently managing to uh, uh, avoid actually going into work much I'm actually working from home quite a bit at the moment so but I've yeah. got to go in tomorrow so <laughs> it'll be a um, be a, an early start for me tomorrow still dark most of the time here yeah that's right so it gets dark about what well, probably four thirty, something like that. Yeah, and now it's uh, it's getting mm. better, but you know, during the winter where I live, it's like yeah, you when you go to work, it's pitch black, pitch dark, and when you go home, it's pitch yeah, I hate I used to hate that driving to work in the dark and coming home in the dark, not pleasant at yeah. all. The so Gala says it's uh, it's nice permanent working from home. Yeah, so that would be could would be my ambition. I mean I'm pretty much doing an awful lot of work at the moment at the moment because I actually went, I actually get much more work done from home than I do when I'm um, in the office. The office is a, a big open plan office. There's lots of noise, lots of disturbances and it's I don't know but I, I like being in a smaller office with my team around me and with the team scattered around it just doesn't seem very productive so uh, I do prefer to work from home and say the team's not physically around me, but we've got Slack and we've got Skype and what, and Teams and what kind of all those um, collaboration tools to to fall back on. So it tends to work quite well. Do you have these uh, offices where you don't know where you will be sitting? That's right. You've no idea where you're going to. Tomorrow I'll have no idea, and it could be that I have to, I have to sit the kind of other side of the building where where there'd be none of my team at all. So yeah, it's not very good. When, when, when companies introduce us, companies introduce us, to me that is saying, uh, we want you to work more from home. Well, yeah, yeah. Because work, working now in office kind of sucks, so stay stay home. And you get this situation where a cough will start in one corner of the office, and then each day you'll see that cough will move towards you. <laughs> it's mm. not very good. So Gareth says he likes having um, his home office, yeah. So I've got, I haven't exactly got a great office. I've got a, a desk up in a bedroom upstairs, but it, I, I quite like it. Okay then, so um, so we to introduce what we're going to do tonight then. Well, I I was you know experimenting experimenting a little bit over the winter. Maybe I should send you that thing I did. Yeah. Could be. I mean, it it would be just be sort of a showing off a little bit. But what I want to do is adding uh, lighting effects to. Um, uh, to um, and make a co new Cobase Alpha um, sort of um, you know uh, what, what do you call them? These things that pops up. The logos. Yeah, use when you use electric L. Oh yeah, the, yeah. That, so uh, my little um, uh, little, little hype things, yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking my goal, if it can succeed, would be that we make a new one of those. Right. Okay. Good. So they're, they're basically overlays. Yeah. They're, they're browser overlays. So. Um, they're all kind of up on a, a static website um, up on Azure, yeah. so yeah, you got to do that. But uh, so so to see a little bit where I want to go, maybe we can take a look at what I was working during Christmas. Yeah, sure. If you want yeah, to, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so if you have, if you have GitHub and you there is uh, my GitHub uh, is M range, you might know that over there. And I have the yeah. Not that one, but Code Life. So I don't uh, Code Life instead of M range, plus M range. So if you, I don't know if you want to clone a repo, it's probably the simplest. Yep, you can clone it. So 
lot of varying quality in this repo. It's not like it's not intended for other people. It's intended for me. That's all right. Oh, look at that. You already have it. Our catalog already exists. So if you, or maybe, or maybe it's your own. Uh, have let's have a look. Kind of looks like I that. think it is yours. So let's, uh, let's I'll, I'll pull that down. See, hmm. if you open Code Life, the two, uh, if you open uh, Code Life the tool, yeah, yeah, and you navigate to um, uh, Code Life. Let's see if this works. Source. Demo day is the first one. Right. And then I see which one is that. I think it's called demo day. This is the second one. That's I think it means. Now it's possible that the the bitmaps are not found. But let's uh, let's look at the shady stages, see if they found the bitmaps. So down. Looks kind of uh, Yeah, just don't think it's found them, is it? Uh no. That's but I think they should be there in the GitHub repo, so we can probably select them. Uh, so if you open the file browse thing uh, for a sample, is this texture zero? Uh, texture yeah. zero. Yeah. So uh, then you go, then you go in the demo day and you search for impulse um, DF one. Impulse DF one. DS. Yeah. Very weird. That name. one. Imp Impulse that, DF one. No, the, the the next one. That one there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. And then you take the second one, and then it's the DF DS two. Yeah. Okay. Now it should work, I think. So let's see if you run it. See what happens. Oh yes, there we go. Okay, but the the time is the timing is wrong. So pause it. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. <laughs> it goes very, yeah, very quick, quick so, yeah. Yeah, so you change the speed to one. Uh, where's the speed there? That's the speed frames. And then you double click the pause button so it resets. And then you run again. So, what I think about doing, I don't know how it flows, is doing kind of these lighting effects that sort of flows around. Uh, and inside these lang inside these letters, something like that is kind of yes for tonight. And but instead of impulse, we could say Kobo is alpha. And uh, I love this one. And uh, the other thing, <laughs> that, this one you recognize, yes. I think. So this is from an old uh, my frame rates, by the way, in Teams are is horrible. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> the, the image quality is quite good, but uh, the frame rate is. Uh, yeah. Dragon, welcome to the stream. Good yeah. to see you again. Let's see. I want to see how it looks on the stream. Yeah, streaming. Stream should be okay. It looks okay. So yeah. So the fractal stuff. So that's kind of my idea that we could try to do that. Looks good. Uh, uh, yeah. So, but I, I had a good time during the Christmas to code this up. Uh, this kind of demo. This effect. looks very kind of uh, Geiger for them. Yeah. The, the guy who did Alien. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess it's the Geiger. Yeah. It's also. A this is the one I like. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it flows very nice on the, yeah. on the screen here. Uh, so com some compression artifacts I must. Oh, yeah, there will be in this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it's quite insane. Uh, it's basically a Julia fractals for those guys that uh, care about that. And uh, and this is uh, what's called uh, a Menger cube with some rotation. Right. Uh, and uh, sort of the what I was really happy with over the Christmas I managed to get was this tree fractal. If you want to see that it's coming in the next one, I believe, or something like that. I don't remember. But here it is again, this uh, lighting effect. So you see the lightings, they flow around uh, the corners. Yes. Which is uh, which I enjoyed, which I think we can, we can do cool stuff with. Um, it's my hope, at least. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, 
here it is again. I kind of like this one. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's so intricate, it's, isn't it? It's, 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 there's so much detail. It's very yeah. intricate, yeah. There's so much, so much, so much yeah. details in this yeah. thing. Your hardware is better than mine. I can see it really flows. It's lovely, yeah. My machine is, uh, uh, when it goes, it kind of a little bit sort of, you know, drops a few frames here and then. Uh, yeah. And I, I think we did a good job on this. Uh, these things as well. When yeah, we did it. it looks nice. Even though, so it's. Uh, I don't know what taking LSD is like, but it could be something, something like that. Yeah, it's a bit trippy. Probably something like this. I, I would guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. So, shall we create a new one? Yeah, we should have a uh, new one ready. I think it's just crashed. Yeah. Uh, luckily, we didn't have any code non saved. Stop it. Okay, let's see if we can find my new file, which was over in our shaders directory. So, this will all be up on GitHub uh, later. So this is just the default starting project. Yeah. Okay. So you remember this this shade is gonna to do this lighting effects is quite interesting technique uh, and it's gonna involve um, this classic thing always done in that we applying noise and apply noise over noise over right, noise. Right. Yeah. As we're doing this technique is called FBM. I forgot what this. I don't know what it stands for, but the difference is here is that. In order to get good, nice looking lighting effects, if you do this by bitmaps like we've done before, right. it's not gonna it's not gonna look nice because the resolution is gonna show up. So the lighting effects are gonna show we we, we will see the resolution of the bitmap in the effect. Right, okay. So that's not desirable. So that's why I'm gonna share with you a, a programmatic way to do these things. Okay. So we so we get uh, kind of infinite pre precision, not infinite obviously, but uh, what I mean, um, we, we're not going to be bounded by the uh, bitmap. Yeah, because we we have started to see that kind of problem with the bitmaps, doesn't it? Where you we get we get yeah. towards the edges and where it kind of uh, flows over, you do get some artifacts, some vertical and horizontal artifacts. Yeah, so I believe what we need. So I'm I have a, this getting this function right. I don't pretend to do it, and uh, so this is just copy pasting for some guy that implement so spend some time implementing a nice noise function. Right. So uh, I'm, I'm, you can find this on Shade Toy. I don't know exactly the source of this, but uh, it looks pretty good. So I'm sharing this with you in uh, your right. Discord because we couldn't get the uh, code check. No, the code share is not working. Um, you can't even log into it, so it's unfortunate. Okay, so. So this is the function that we've got. And it just compiles, right? No? Yes, no? Okay. No? Yeah. So the next step, we, what we can do now is that we have a point to a float, which would be noise. So let's look at how this noise looks looks like. Okay. So what we do what we do then is that we we pass the uh, position u e into the noise function. So uh, what we're getting out of noise, we're getting a float. Yeah, which is sort of which is. It's not random, but it's random based on the position where we are. Or it's kind of noisy. Probably, probably noise is better. It's not really random. Yeah. And then you make uh, the frag color. You remove all these abs and spectrum and all these things, and you put in the um, you put in the, uh, the n instead. I think you need to put in three n's. Okay. Come on. There we go. Ah, look at that. Nice looking noise. So what you, what you can do now 
is that you if you if you multiply the UV position by uh, I think it is uh, let's say ten, then we should zoom out. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, so, yeah. so you can see what the noise is. It's actually it's interesting noise, isn't it? It's quite textured. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting noise function. I, I don't know what this is called, but it's um, and if you if you take the apps of n, and when you take the apps of noise function, we, we probably see that because I think it's negative noise as well. The, the black areas are actually negative. I suspect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting. It is, isn't it? Yeah, so it's it's a bit like the kind of cellular noise, because mm. um, there are kind of. It looks like it, yeah, and it goes really, yeah, it goes really. Corners get. I mean, there are corners that gets really. Dark. Yeah, it's, it's it's almost like um. I don't know. If it's, it's quite disgusting, but it, it's like uh, intestines, isn't it? It's kind of tubular yeah, and you know, not very nice kind of um, image. I know, but it's a bit like that, isn't it? It's, yeah, well, if, if if you just make this red, yeah. uh, reddish, <laughs> you can really feel bad. Yeah. We, we, we won't go there. <laughs> yeah, but so, uh, but now we're feeling how the noise looks like. Um, if you zoom out, zoom out even more, maybe you multiply by hundred instead of ten. What have you done? Yep. So definite random noise that will randomish noise. Yep. Good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean there are some patterns to it, obviously, but uh, it's 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 good. Well, let's go back to uh, perhaps one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I like this noise function. Yeah, it's, it's like kind of it's, it actually it's rather than inte it's intestines, it's it's like a weave as well, like fibers maybe we weaving into into, into yeah, each other. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm getting some ideas, but I uh, should not get derailed because then I don't know where we end up. <laughs> yeah. I might have, have uh, but this is something I probably, if I look more into it, I could probably spend hours trying to do something with it. Uh, it's, uh, and sometimes when you do shaders, those hours end up being nothing. You, you get nothing out yeah. of them. Except you learn a little bit, but you don't get anything. So, but that's the beauty. So what we should do now, I think, is implementing this FBM thing to sort of getting more like a cloud. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thing. And if you remember how we used to do this FBM filtering, I don't know what it's called. Kind of. I know the principle. It's basically we're taking, we're, we're rotating and, and then we're adding, uh, changing the frequency, changing the um, amplitude, and then add them together. Yep. But um, the actual details of the function, um, I can't remember. Let's, uh, should we write that? Yeah. Uh, it looks though that this filtering is, is done a little bit differently in this time to get the right effect. So we're going to do it a little bit okay. different. Uh, but but uh, what we're going to do is the same thing that we add up the thing and sort of multiply with, with a different number. So let's uh, let's uh, start by doing that. So let's create a function that's called maybe FPM. What we're going to return a float. And always, always save, by the way. We know this environment is pretty yeah, good, but it also I'll save at this, I'll save at this point, so I... We don't want to fall foul of it. This is like uh, my old Atari. Yeah. I really learned... I always saved everything at all times. And we take in uh, Vector2 in, vector in, as an input. Vector2 is a singular yeah, word. And then we're going to do an offset here. Uh, we're going to use that thing. Uh, but to start, you can just set this offset to one. So float, oh, what a float offset, or whatever you want to call it. So this this is going to be a little bit different than uh, than what we used okay. to. But um, and then we uh, we start accumulating noise. So we declare maybe the float. Uh, a or aggregate, I don't know what you call it. sum, perhaps sum is a good word. We we'll call it aggregate. Equals zero. And then you take aggregate plus equals noise function at the at the position we are at, right? 
And that's input, yeah. Is it pos? So this is going to be the position, isn't it? So let's call it yeah, pos. Let's try and be a bit, a bit transparent about what our variables are. And now, if you call this fun FPM function, right? If you return aggregate now, uh, and, and we're going to make this number positive, by the way. So what? How we do? How we make it positive? Because uh, the noise function returns values between um, minus one and uh, Mm -hmm. One. So if you mul if you take uh, multiply it by zero dot five and take plus zero dot five, we we get a number between zero and one. Right? Yeah. Makes sense. Is that okay. Yeah. So uh, give me a sec. Right, so we can take. Oh, Sorry. No problem. Uh, yeah, so we can call this function instead now and see what we get. Yeah, like uh, like that, and that should be uh, roughly the same, I think. Yeah, similar. Yeah, a little bit different because, um, yeah, still interesting. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, but so let's add more details to it, right? By doing this, uh, ag aggregating to it more. So now we're gonna use this. Uh, so what you do now uh, is you take aggregate. You at line 50, you make a new line 55. Yeah. Uh, you you copy paste that line F line 57. Copy paste that. Yeah, and then you take this plus, so we're gonna uh, reduce the amplitude, half it, by multiplying by 0 to 5. Yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna add an offset to it. Like I said, it's gonna be a little bit different this time. Uh, we're gonna add an offset, and the offset's gonna be, uh, uh, that could be it, but it's not exactly mm -hmm. right. So. Uh, no, uh, the position you're going to add an offset to, not, uh, not the amplitude. So 0 to 5 is correct, but inside there you go plus vec2. Okay. Yeah. I think we can do this smarter than the code uh, I had writing. So let's let's make the offset um, a vec2 instead. I, ha I have an idea here. Oh. Or maybe I don't. Yeah. Vec2. Uh, and then you go parenthesis uh, and vec2 around this thing here, vec2 1, 0. So the first x is then 1 in this case. So now we're going to add, uh, so you just add the offset yeah. here. Okay. Like so. Good. Copy paste this line again. Change the amplitude to 25, 0 20, so we have the amplitude again. Yeah. But now, now the offset is going to be offset dot y x. Okay, so we're swapping the axes around, yeah. Yes, exactly right. Copy paste again. Now it's minus offsets. We we are doing different variations of the offsetting here. But you not y x x y, yeah y plus. You just remove this thing, yes. Uh, yeah, or oh, you just remove it. Uh, and you have this uh, thing again, yeah. right? 25, not uh, 75. You want 25 then, yeah. Okay. 125. And the last one. But now you said offset dot yx. Okay. So, so this gives a little bit different structure to it. Uh, and then we're gonna down adjust uh, aggregate because now the if all this if all ones aggregates together yeah. right if 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 all aggregates they will be bigger yeah, yeah. 
So we're going to down, we're going to adjust it in that way. And the way we do it is, is that we uh, divide by uh, one plus zero dot five plus uh, you know the series. So what, tell me exactly what you want to do there. Yeah. So if if you divide aggregate by a number, you replace this. Yeah. No, no. no uh, well, you can do it. There, I will do it here. Uh, I, I will just make aggregate uh, divide by equals, and then you go one dot zero. Yeah. Plus zero dot five. Plus zero dot twenty five. Oh, I see. Plus zero dot one twenty five and plus. We want this halved as well, don't we? And and, and that should be halved, and that's is zero six twenty five, I think. Well, you remove some uh, dots. <laughs> and, uh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. So now, now that's that's uh, so let's change the zooming on this and see how this looks. Uh, we still have the overall structure here, right? But uh, what we're going to do now is sort of you know to sort of uh, uh, sort of add uh, to the. Um, Sort of add to sort of you know make it change a little bit. So instead you're going to say that the offset here now is the cosine. Uh, instead of one, we say it's the cosine function. So it will sort of flow back and forth into each other. So if you make this the cosine function over the time input, right? So that's it. then we can see how we because we want to add a little bit sort of you know time element to this noise. Yeah, there we go. So it's oscillating. So you can see it's, yeah. This creates a little bit of sort of you know noise factor, so that's something. I mean, it's not really lighting effects, but it's it's something. Something is happening, and this will add some kind of sort of you know flow later on when we sort of you know try to. Do that. Yeah, interesting how it comes so, comes in and out of focus, isn't it? It's, it's kind of interesting effect. Yeah, it's sort of when it lines up, yeah. and then it goes out of focus. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's something. It's a start. How does it look when we zoom out if you change the 10 to 1 there? And we look at this level. Yeah, it has some kind of... It's kind of interesting feel to yeah. it. I think. So, let's see. So, how do we do lighting? Uh, and it turns out... One way to do it, which is kind of cheating, because that's what we do. Yeah, we like to cheat. We we cheat a lot, uh, because it's much easier to cheat than actually know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, so uh, we've got some pretty amazing shaders out of not doing knowing what we're doing. So I don't believe that at all. Yeah. So uh, one way to do this is. We're just gonna divide. Um, we're just gonna divide. Um, we take the we take the value of this ABM function, and we take one divided by that value. And then the points that are close to zero will be very intense, right. and then it will sort of fall off. And I think that uh, from my experience from before, that creates kind of some kind of lighting look effect, right? So what you can do now, here, right, is doing something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and that looked a little bit weird, but that's okay. We can tweak a little bit. And then you put the parentheses around this thing here. Uh, around FBM. Uh, I was thinking about, uh, about the FBM okay. function here. Just one second. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. And... What we can do now, let me can I yeah, absolutely, yeah. Let's see if uh, or do I think we need to share? I it thought now. we were sharing. Um, uh, to share the keyboard. Uh, give I control. There you are. There you go. Let's see, does it work? There we are. You're in. Okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, 
Ah. You gotta get used to this again, it's, haven't you? It's plus sign. You have to find it for me. Ooh. Now it's starting to get some interesting uh effects there. Yeah. Uh, let's increase the um, this factor here, right? We take um Uh, yeah, and it should say minus. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So we we need to experiment a little bit here and to sort of find the correct uh, uh, approach here. Uh, oh crap! Undo, help me. Oops, I think it's just fallen over. No, oh, it's the, oh. I think the cursor is the. No, but okay, but okay. To, Undo, there you go. I, I can't, if I press undo, I might see things, weird stuff happens on your screen, right? So that's why I, um, I'm not completely incompetent usually. It's, it, things here are weird. I'm not sure what's just happened. Yeah, you, you're now in the vertex. Oh, okay, uh, right, there we go. We need to be in the fragment so shader. Go back to the fragment shader. Yeah. So save yeah. it. I think it's good. Yeah, I was just about to try and do that when I hit the vertex. Okay. So let's let's experiment a bit with these numbers here and see if we can sort of you know uh, make it look a little bit more interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah. So what we want the, the, what we want to get to, or maybe maybe I'll try this thing here instead of typing that thing. We do here. So, so this is a little, a little bit interesting yeah. already. It's not really lighting, but you see there is an interesting shape. Yeah, there is, like a wave. And when we do it, it this goes back and forth. It's like a lava lamp or something like that, bubbling yeah, up. Yeah, it's kind of like a yeah. lava lamp. And uh, the, reasons, uh, the reasons for that is, uh, is that... Um, Uh, when um, we're hitting sort of, um, I don't know how to explain it, but when this is this becomes infinite, then this goes, then this becomes yeah. one. And uh, so we are finding the point here. I believe this is the point where this goes to infinite. It is not still not really what I wanted to be, right? But uh, we will experiment and see if we can get there. Okay, this is interesting. Still not there, right? Yeah, it's just like slight shapes in the fog, that one. Yeah. So as I say, when we when, when you do shaders, there is a lot of experimentation and uh, and weird stuff happening in in here. So um, where's the multiplication sign? There we go. And now we're starting to get some more definition in that now. Yeah. Not really getting where I want yet, but uh, oh, hmm. This bit start. This is like the the uh, the Stargate when it's active. The ripples of the Stargate. Yeah, uh, it's quite it's interesting. Uh, not, but not at all what I <laughs> what I'm going. Yeah, so the threat the threshold uh, is yeah. So it's like um. Dragon Eyes suggested the word threshold, so it's like I think it was where, as you say, as Morton said, that when it when it um, becomes very very large. Yeah, because that's that's what we that's um, that's kind of what we want here is uh, we want when this goes to zero, we want the uh, point uh, when this thing here goes zero, the the point will be be very intense, yeah. and that's kind of what we want here. But I'm not really getting exactly what I was hoping for yet, uh, because I didn't prepare. Uh, you know, did it, uh, I was thinking I shouldn't prepare too much because it's interesting to see what. Yeah, happens. well, that's, that's part of it, isn't it? It's, it's, it's discovery and a bit of serendipity as well, just kept coming along. Yeah. Don't be too uh, prepared. And sometimes good things comes out of that. So, but I'm trying to understand uh, why 
are we not seeing because i was thinking that okay this is probably a negative number uh, down here that's it why it's minus one so some something divided by something divided by something negative becomes minus and mm. that's why we don't see it up here it's all solidly one isn't it uh, uh, up here it should be um, I, I don't think it should be completely white. Uh, obviously, it is completely white, but I was hoping that this would be more sort of, you know, zoomed mm. out. Uh, so that's why, why I'm a little bit confused, right? And that didn't help much, right? <laughs> uh, 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 so let me think a little bit here. Yeah, more... And the plus sign is. There we go. So now we're getting some kind of texture at the top as well now. Yeah, okay, but maybe what we are seeing here is that this, this is just uh, this thickness here is just too large somehow. So what happens if we um, yeah yes it's I, I think this is slightly better because now here around this corner we're starting to, starting to see a little bit of um, uh, it's intense, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right, some variation there now. Yeah, and uh, so that can create a little bit more of the effect we want. Okay, let's continue okay. with this. Uh, I think uh, uh, this is in the in the right direction at least now it looks more a little bit more what i expected right. we still the reason we get black here is because we divide the uh, sort of it's a negative yeah. number so that's why it doesn't show up here uh, and if we change this factor here okay it's interesting you never need, really know what <laughs> But uh, can, how if you put UX, do you get to it work well? Yes, I believe so. Let's try that. Yes, yeah, it just changes the orientation, yeah. Yeah. So so this value increases, and that moves the point uh, where the division becomes divided by zero, and that is the intense point kind of here, right? And because of this um, cloud, semi-random things, that point is, is kind of... Uh, it's not a straight line because if you didn't have this noise function, it would yeah, be a straight line. It would just be a, a vertical edge, wouldn't but, it? Yeah. Yeah, but when we add this, when we add this factor to it, that point kind of mm, follows the curve of the cloud, so it, it creates these kind of things that sort of stick together. If you tweak a little bit, we might get it to look a little bit more lightning effect. Let's make this a function though, so we can sort of you know tweak it. So let's create a maybe a I don't know called color lighting function. Let's return a color as well. So return a vec three. And I would suggest that this take a position P as input, which is the position on the screen. But, and I also suggest to take a, uh, the offset as an extra parameter uh, because we're going to use it later. So float, uh, float, float. And then you copy paste this uh, uh, the float function we have down there. And then instead of uvx, you use the offset function. No, the, the offset. Offset. Uh, yeah, use the type what you was thinking. Yeah. Wait. And why the, and then we have you have to convert it this to a vec three. You can just do it by putting a vec three in front of this. Yeah. Uh, and then you call this function. Only one point zero, yeah. No, uh, UV, uh, UVY. UVY. Uh, 
for then it's uh, flo it's not floating yeah, in this way three. three yeah damn me I'm gonna save at that point okay so uh, yeah um but I think uh, one way to improve this is uh, that we can repeat this a few times. So maybe we get some better effects. So uh, once again, we sort of, sort of you know, make, make a, a variable maybe called a VEC3 color or something like that. And make an initialize that to zero. Yeah. Or yeah, do it like that. But uh, I think we should initialize it to zero because we, we are going to loop a few times. Yeah. And then take a plus equal so we can uh, tweak a little bit on that thing. Yeah. So So let's um, Okay, understand that, yeah. So what we want to do I think is uh we want the, the cloud sort of we want to have a movement here upwards. So what you can do now is you create an offset here uh, above here. So a vec 2 p offset or whatever you want to call it. Just a second, I'm going to just, just do something. I'm going to check this chat if there's any questions. So what I'm going for is that we want to we want to introduce maybe an upwards motion here into this uh, uh, into this uh, uh, sort of cloud layer we have here because now we have sort of it's goes side by side but we want to sort of introduce an upward motion and that will also break I hope this kind of um, repetitiveness because uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a mo mo two combined motions and that's what I think we'll do yeah okay sorry I just had to do a there was um, some kind of bot in uh, in chat there which I just had to get rid of yeah I saw that do you want to be famous? Yeah. No. <laughs> to be honest. It's not as simple no. as that. Uh, every, when people have simple answers to everything that's complex, they are, uh, well. Well, it's a scam, <laughs> basically, isn't it? So uh, if it's too good um, to be true, it is too good to be true. OK, so what we, what did we want to do next? We want to add an offset uh, that increases uh, on the y direction. Uh, each time. So what you do is you introduce a VEC P to VEC 2 offset, but you do it above that line. Okay. Oh, I call it offset. Oh, we already have offset. Ah, that. Oh, I call it something else then. Um. Off? <laughs> I don't know. Let's call it F. And back to and zero. And in order to add the motion in the y direction, you then do comma time. Comma time, okay. Then, yes. And then you add this to the position. So you make a parenthesis around the position, perhaps, and add it to it. Yeah, that should be right. Oh, yeah. yeah. It flows a little bit too fast, yeah. right? And I think it should flow in the other direction, my personal opinion. So, but just multiply this by, uh, by something uh, 0 0.5. Maybe slower, 25, 0 0.25. Yeah, yeah okay. That seems to be here. You see, but you see, this breaks a little bit this uh, symmetry of moving back and forth. We still might see it, but it's. It's a little bit harder to see mm. now. Right? It's you can. It's just about there, but yes, it has. Um, 
He does stop the, the obvious sway backwards and forwards, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's see what we do now. Um, I, I want a, a more distinct line, I believe. Uh, so how do we get a more distinct line? Because uh, it's th this uh, white is not, uh, you know, the the line is not very distinct. If you see what yeah. I mean, right? Yeah. Uh, we can kind of see that there is an intensity to it, but it's not very distinct. So let's think a little bit how to do that. How we do it? Uh... Thinking on stream, it's very hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. coming up with good yeah. ideas, right? Very hard. Uh, let's see now a little bit here. I'm gonna. Ex can I experiment with here? Yeah. So, what happens? Can I get the multiplication sign? Yeah, that didn't. It looks different, but uh, not exactly what I wanted. I'm, I'm just gonna random. Stuff. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So can you cop cut that thing? Got it. Yeah. And float. Uh, let's call it. I don't D. <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna just and paste it. Yeah, it's gonna random my stuff here, right? That's what it. But then, you know, with shaders and this kind of thing, it's, it's kind of a little bit, I, I, I mean, it looks stupid, but I experiment with these functions. Well, it, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's part science, but quite a lot of it's art and, and it's experimentation, as you say, because you can, uh, that's looking really good now. It's softened it, hasn't it? It looks, it looks interesting, mm. right, already. So I multiply by this offset to sort of reduce this by... Uh, this offset number and it created this kind of effect here that's uh, kind of improved it a little bit. It has actually. improved it, yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna experiment a little bit more. Huh? What happened there? No, let's go that direction. Okay, oh, there. okay, damn it. There you go. Can we have a now I would be tempted to do my uh, my classic yeah. thing here, like when I want to sort of make something uh, sort of contract or extract, and I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm using the power function. That's also uh, an interesting function to use. Hmm. And then when you do that, then you go the opposite direction and see. Oh, okay. Well, things are happening. They certainly are. Didn't you look like you but actually I think it starts to look a little bit like some kind of lighting yes. effect. Like yes, absolutely, yeah. I mean it's not it's not sharp lighting, but it's kind of flowing lighting. If you see yes, what I mean, absolutely, right? yeah. What happens if you make this number a little bit smaller? Interesting. Right? Oh, oh there we go. Back here a little bit. Hmm. I, I actually think this start looks like something. Yes, it's like a. I don't know. It's like an arc of lightning, but slowed down, and you can see it. Uh, it kind of burning yeah. through the atmosphere, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, well, you can see these things get loose and kind of disappear. Uh, you know, they get away from this. Uh, I mean, it's cheating, if you're honest. <laughs> It's it's nothing real we're looking at, but Oops. Uh, can we get a one here instead? That was what I wanted to ty type. You want a one in there? Uh, the one. Maybe that is good. That's but always you know try for uh, try the zero twenty five and see what happens. A uh, zero five. Hmm. It is a little bit interesting. It's a, it's a nice effect. Okay. Well, that's, it's, you know, we need to add a little bit better colors to it. But I, I think, to me, it has this kind of a uh, little bit 
the electric elf has better colors, yeah. right? But it looks a little bit uh, like that lighting effect. Yes, it's very similar. But but uh, but it's distinct, isn't it? It's its own its own thing because we've presumably arrived at this through a different route. Yeah. So uh, so let's see what we also can do here to make this a little bit more interesting is uh, is using a um, a loop. So we because if you loop and sort of add these add them together, on top yeah. of each other and add a little bit of offset. And I actually gonna think what we should do here, if I type here, uh, so so we can tweak the time parameter. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna say float t here as time. Oh well, not time. We have a time, so I don't want to double define it. Do it that way. And and then we have the FPM function here. Uh, like so. No, why is it not compiling? Ah, time is not mm. compiling. Okay. One quick two. What is compiling? No, oh, I see, I see. You know, it's my fault. I know what it is now. Yeah, it needs to be outside the brackets, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's, it's like Lisp, almost. Too few parameters to function call. Isn't it enough? Or is it another parenthesis out? Uh, this is hard. Um, so it's so here's FBM. So that's the first. Oh, it should, should be, be there. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Can you save it? No. I mean, we done something really complicated. Here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put loop in. Uh, finding the correct, uh, finding the correct position here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, that's what we're doing here. So, uh, let's think a little bit what how we want to do it, how we want to sort of, at least I'm not thinking a little bit, but what I want to do is loop over these several times, right. but adjust the time slight, okay. slightly uh, on, on each iteration. So we have uh, multiple kind of lighting effects added on top of each other. Okay, yeah. With the time slightly offset yeah, so yeah. say and uh, and uh, just to see kind of uh, what happens with that this is also very common when you do these things you, you you try you try to see what happens when you overlay things on top of each other right well uh, we've had great success with that in the past haven't we so yeah i mean why step away from this uh, now the hard part right uh, people that have been view viewing us before is knowing that if when we type a for loop, we're always in the risk of crashing the ID. So for some reason I can't type anything. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I have problems typing. Yep, Hello? sorry. <laughs> Where are you? Over here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so can you uh, type, a, make a, type an X or whatever? Uh, because we're going to type a for loop, yeah. right? And when we do for loop, it's always risky. Because this ID seems to, well, it's not the ID, but I believe the graphics driver, if you type an infinite loop, which is very easy to do, then it crashes the whole thing. It doesn't blue screen, but it crashes the ID. So if you go with a for loop here. Oops. Sorry. And then you go int, uh, uh, I would say int, right? Int i or whatever you want to call it, the iteration. Between zero and uh, an i less than one to begin with. Then we go uh, plus, plus y, right? If we remove the X. Yeah, we're okay. And it didn't crash. It didn't crash no. Same. So now what, what I want to try to do is introducing a time offset here, right? Uh, so let's say time. Oh, I don't know what happened. That's there. okay. I'll get rid of that. Yeah. I'm trying to type. Yeah, it, sorry. Right? Yeah, there you go. 
So it's not really always successful. I do that because uh, my keyboard and your keyboard. An equal sign. Yeah, that I found. You found that earlier. Right, yeah. <laughs> Time. But the plus sign is harder for me. There you go. And then we go float. So what I do here, right, is what we do here is just that we turn I into a float again. Okay, yeah. yeah, introduce a new time, and but this time is offsetted compared to uh, uh, it's offsetted compared to um, depending on what uh, what y uh, uh, i is. Okay, so now you see. That's a shame. Uh, for some reason, it loses focus, I believe. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Yeah. See, yeah. So it kind of, they seem similar, but what we do is we, we offset this thing here, right? So we, they are not really overlapping as before. We have three. We have three of these uh, lighting effects. You yeah. See what I mean? Overlaid. Added on top of each other, um, and they are slightly offset in time, so to say, and that creates this kind of. Um, if you see what I mean, that we have three of them, and they they are they are similar looking, but we have moved them a little bit in time, so they are not exactly looking, and I think that adds a little bit. Yeah. To it. Should we try to find some better colors? Yeah, be that's how it was, and just black and white, so some nice colors on there. Yeah. Uh, so, if you multiply this by a vector, and should, what what should we have? Blue should lighting can be blueish. Yeah, blue's okay. But not entirely blue. So let's say I'm just guessing numbers now. Zero dot, little bit red. Zero dot one. Zero dot three. Zero dot, uh, zero dot uh, seven. Yeah, that's good. Wow. Electric this blue. Electric blue. Perfect. Well, I, I, I'm so. Good <laughs> you are. Just just guess. Just three numbers right out of, out of the air. And there we are. <laughs> Save this. Yeah. I can find my. Uh, to be honest, we have something. And I think that we shall we continue with this a little bit and sort of you know try to sort of make this um, uh, because you have this at the bottom of the screen now, yeah. right? Uh, so what I'm thinking is I want to I want to tweak this variable a little bit. So I'm going to write here one. Now we're going to go back to the good old. Ah, I lost the focus. It is a nice effect, isn't it, uh, Dragon Eye? Ah, can I get the zero? Where do you want it? There, there. There you go. And zero dot five. Now it lost. It's lost to me then, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that was not good. So go back to zero then. Looks better. I don't know exactly why. I will not pretend to understand why. <laughs> But I, I prefer this. Yes, I mean, so do I. Okay, but what's cool here, right? Um, what's cool here, I, I believe, is that this offset here will allow us to, if we have a distance function... Based on the offset, yeah. Yeah, so instead of passing in the y direction, actually what we're seeing here is kind of, if you think of... if When we just pass in the y direction, it show the, this here is the uh, here is zero and here's so the distance up here. So in, instead, you create a distance function that represents a circle, and we pass in that as an offset. I believe we can maybe see lighting that flows around. Edges. Right. Okay. And that's what I'm hoping. Uh, so let's uh, let's do that. So uh, and the circle is very sim simple. So in the main function, in the main function, okay. Just take a float uh, d or whatever. I use that as a distance. 
equals equals length u v minus zero five. Mm. Not there, outside. So this this is a distance field around a circle. So instead yeah. of passing in u u v y, let's pass in the diff here. And there we go, flowing around the edge. Yeah, and uh, so it looks not like a circle, right? But the, what, what's happening here is that um, you need to compensate for um, what's called. You need to compensate uh, on the x-axis because it's uh, distorted. Because yes, because of, the, of the, the viewport we've got, yeah. Yeah, and that is that. What we do then is we multiply the uv dot x under back to uv. Uh, here. Yeah. And you multiply that by resolution X. This is just something I learned. I, I understood it at some point. Now I just do it. Divided by resolution not Y. And need to spell it correctly first. And U. Using a U. There we go. I saw it eventually. Yep. No misses. But what we see here now is uh, that this electrical field, or whatever you want to call it, is kind of surrounding an invisible sphere. Yes. Uh, so you can make the sphere smaller by making it 0 0.25. Nice. So my thinking here is now if you have a co-base alpha distance field, we can make some pretty cool stuff. Right, okay, so around the, around the word, yeah. Yeah, but just to show you a little bit what I'm... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, because if 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 there was a Cobus alpha around here, we could have like uh, this electrical feed flow around uh, the Cobus alpha logo, and I think that could be a cool yeah. effect. So uh, save this. I think. Saved, yeah. And then we uh, are going to go to the next part. And now uh, I think what we do you have like a program that can allow you to sort of paint so just to, we, we can just use a font type code base alpha or, uh, or something like that and we need we want to create a transparent background so we're going to need paint which I'm a complete novice at using paint 3d so I, I actually use paint.net I think that's pretty good I haven't got that I can download it it's it's a free download if you want to let's uh, grab it then so um, I think it's decent, uh, and and it's just a two D pro two D. Uh... Is that it? No, no, the hard part here is finding where is it down. Well, this is this is this is Zip Expert, so it's not that. It's. Uh, it's yeah, like this is uh, this is like I don't know why this is so bad, but. This is some kind uh, of. Yeah, I go up there. Driver. I think up, 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 is it up, that there? Uh, it could be that. Download them. Yeah, here. I think it's yeah. this one, isn't it? Price no, price, this one there. here. Yeah, try that. And then it wants us to hit this, does it? Yeah. So this is the worst part of paint of that, right? I don't know why it's so bad in this regard. But they try to make money somehow, I guess. And uh, I'm not sure this is the best way to do it, but Okay. Yeah, I I heard GIMP is good, but uh, yeah, um, GIMP looks really complicated. <laughs> we probably could succeed with GIMP, but I I think I think this is a decent piece of software, uh, and I should maybe buy it and be a good person. 
But I think this started as an internship at Microsoft at some point. No, yeah, right. And then it evolved into a, a pretty decent uh, tool. So this Paint 3D they have, it's... Uh, I found it quite hard to use, that's a problem. I mean, it's, it's, it's meant for more than just 2D. And that's hard. When you when you only need two D, you don't want. Oh, to... that's right. Yeah, it just it just obscures a lot of the functions. Just just yeah. trying to make something transparent is the right. A transparent background was you know, I had to spend ages figuring out how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, a paint of that is not perfect, but it's I think it's decent, uh, and you know for the price it's also yeah. decent. You can donate. Okay, let's start. And now someone in the chat said, oh, is it virus? And I'm like, oh, shit, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, I've been using it for a long time. So, I think <laughs> so let's, um, uh, I think you can create a transparent background by just, uh, you have the select box there. Uh, like, yeah. Can I, I can yeah, work yeah, the screen? Yeah. Now, now we really, you know, programming, I'm pretty good at, I think. But now we're going to see the novice in action. Did it go transparent? Who knows? Uh, black. No, no. Gonna do it this way. Uh, layers, add your layer. Okay. So there's a, there's so a yeah, transparent layer there. Yeah. Sense. You have uh, like uh, layers. Okay, that's good. That's a lot easier to use than uh, than Paint 3D. Yeah, uh, and it's also uh, and uh, I don't know if, if an idiom is the right word, but it's also quite common pattern to use these layers. Code. Oh, okay, that was not the right color. Uh, you know, let's find a nice looking font or whatever that you prefer, but we could just do, do something. Okay, like we'll that. start with that one. Let's have a look what fonts are available. Uh, yeah. Can we, can we swipe back and change the font? It doesn't look like we can, can we? Okay, up here we have fonts. Okay. Who knows? Yeah, comic sounds. <laughs> I did have a um, like a Blade Runner one, which might be interesting to oh, use. Yeah. It's still here. Looks like it's n not here. Maybe it wasn't on this. The problem is because this is a. I'm going to prove uh, Dragon's Eyes uh, offensive message. It's thought that GIMP. Is, oh right, uh, yes, a, a, a naughty, naughty thing. Yeah. Naughty word. <laughs> uh, that, you can't use GIMP. It's not allowed on stream. Every time we said it, we'll be, we'll get, uh, <laughs> we'll get censored by uh, Nightbot. Um, that's something a bit sci-fi. That's the thing, and I don't think I've got much in that looks like that. Um, we have. Of course, we have the what's what's called um, what's called again? Cascadia. Code. Yeah, yeah, idea. We could start with that. Yeah, we'll start with that. Around. There we go. It's kind yeah, of it looks though. okay. So, and we should, I guess, maybe look at that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Being on a space, it's going to be hard to get it centered. Okay. You're a graphical genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing this a lot of times. How big is this image again? This size? Huge. Okay, 10 times 600. So what I want here is to have uh, a little bit of space here. How, how many pixels is that? Uh, that's hundred and that's hundred and nine. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I know where we're going, Carol. So <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, you carry on. And uh, so and, uh, and there we have. Uh, 
129. 129, yeah. So I want approximately 100 pixels up and down. That's what I'm kind of going for. Okay, so we can remove, uh, can move this up a little bit. And because we're going to create a distance field around yeah. this. So when we create a distance field, we're going to have, run a special program that does that. Yeah. And what that's going to do is going to uh, compute the distance, the shortest distance at, at this point to here. And then we need a little bit little area spice, around yeah. this, to create this to create this distance field. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm going with this. So let's see now here. How much is this? That's 175. Did it wasn't it like that kind of before? Did I did I fail so badly? That's 150. Yeah. So I was obviously a little bit too modest here. Very very. That's simple. one five, one four something like that. And now this is for 170. God damn it. 166. It does now, that. Yeah. Okay, let's remove let's, let's remove it with the pixels here. Uh, crop. Cops, this Cam crops the selection there. Okay. Good. So uh, let's remove sixty. So up and down, and so let's say one hundred twenty here first. Uh, that wasn't what I intended. <laughs> Und undo. Uh, I need an undo. There we go. The undo functionality in this tool is also very good. Ah, yeah, uh, 480 was kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. I just want to measure here a little bit here. Yeah, so that's very about 90. Nice. And that's about 112. So we should move it 10 pixels down to get about 100. That's kind of what we're going for. One one one. Hundred and eleven. How much is this? And that is about one oh five, one oh four. One hundred that is now. Oof. Pretty good. Pre precision. So did I say move down? It needs to come pixels. down ten pixels and across a little bit. Yeah. yeah well, by eye it looks good. I yeah, okay. That, that should be okay, it. shouldn't you? Let's save it. So save it as a PNG. Okay, I'm just going to get my uh, my cursor's not to... There we are. Save as. And look in the... Alpha directory. Any, anything about bit depth? We don't care about that, do we? Nah, it's better with 8 bit. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, Flatten. PD doesn't support. Okay. So now, uh, now I'm going to share, <coughs> share with you a brilliant program <coughs> that I've written. Uh, because uh, this is too complicated to do on okay. properly, and it, it took me quite some time actually to do it. Uh, because it turns out that's not it's not so easy to compute a distance field from an uh, image like I wanted it to be. So, but the basic idea is simple, right? If you if you want to create a, a distance field, what we do is that we for every pixel on for every pixel on the yep. screen. We look around ourselves until we find a, a white pixel, if you're on a black pixel. Okay. And then we look for everything we can find, and we pick the shortest distance. Yeah, okay. That is the distance. So you say it's, it's very kind of very similar to um, the, what, the way you do your ray tracing, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it, it's uh, not far away mm. from that, actually. Uh, but it also takes a lot of time. Right. So you have to do a little bit of optimizations and blah, 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 blah. And uh, that's complicated. And uh, yeah. So 
I'm going to share with you an F-sharp program okay. in your Discord. So let's do a little bit of F-sharp today as well. Yeah, mix it all in. Oh no, it's more than 2,000 characters. Ah. Yeah, just give me in, give me in uh, chunks. No, no, but I, I fix it quickly here. I have an idea. Do it. Distance. Distance. Field for SMB. EFFS. Console, a console app, is it? Of course. Yeah. That's, that's the way I roll. Console apps. So I'm sending you a link. Oh yeah, that's correct. It looks like a black hole. I don't know, it's a black hole, but it looks pretty yeah, cool. It does, actually. it looks good. It's, uh... Okay. So I think I shared with you. Uh, yeah, let's go to the. Um, yeah. So go. You go to raw mode. Copy paste everything. Paste it there. So you need. Uh, you need. Um, in order to make this work, you need a third party library to sort of uh, read images and this is called uh, six labors image sharp so if you get add a new get reference uh, so this is in .NET core how you can sort of work with images it's pretty cool so browse six. image sharp yeah you can do it like six labors is it six six labors yes i don't know exactly what that's why they call Okay, if you search for image sharp. Okay, so we got that one. No, uh, that's not correct. Uh, 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 so if you bring up. Uh, if you bring up the project file. Or uh, F sharp, you should be able to add this item group to your project file. I'm going to share that. With okay. You soon. These these references are what's needed. Okay. Does it, can we restore them now? How does it work? Um, we'll try to do a build, shall we? Yeah, try that. See it. Yeah, it's, it's found them now. It works? Looks like it's, um, it's built. We've got uh, an, an unused yes. reference. Uh, so, is that, is that weird? Is that the unused reference for me as well? Maybe it is. Possibly. Uh, could be. Well, um, so what you see now is uh, this is a little bit hard coded this okay. program. Um, so you see I have the input path and output path. So you should specify the input path on line 34 to match your file. This is hard coded yep. stuff. This is just I just want to get it to work. df dot bng should be okay. Yeah, should work. And uh, compile release and compile x at x eight uh, x sixty four. This is, but I, I can just kind of describe a bit what it does if you're interested. 
uh, active solution platforms is probably the best way to do it. Uh, yeah. So if you go to active there. That sounds good. Or we just run it. See what happens. But what it does is it try to compute and uh, compute the distance speed. And when it's computed at distance speed, uh, yeah, you okay, this doesn't work. Stop debugging. Run without the debugger. Um, That's on the debug. Right. Start oh, there again, yeah. Can't find a path. Oh, I thought that's where I put it. Uh... Oh, it's got a space. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just put it in the root. We don't particularly want to have to deal with uh, spaces. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, that and then distance field. So what this does is it it uses a kind of uh, shouldn't the DF also have a? Yeah, we'll just we'll put it into the um, code base alpha directory because that's okay. okay. Oh no, there isn't one, is there? That's it. That's... Yeah, I guess it's, yeah. there's not. That's what's that about that? Okay. Let's see what happens. Off it goes. Yeah, so what it does now, it, it computes for each line here. It tries to find a, a computer distance field. Hopefully it succeeds. So now it broke. So it, it uses a, in, an iterator, or it uses an a way to iterate. So from each picture it starts, it iterates outward in a diamond pattern right. until it finds a match, you can say. Let's, we can take a look at this looks. This looks. Paint for that. Oh. Yep. Wonderful. So it looks weird with the colors, but the reason it looks weird with the colors, uh, oh yeah, it looks like we should actually uh, rerun it. Uh, because I, I see a problem, but what happens is that um, when I'm going to compute the distance, I need to I, I want to store a, a store a floating point as a color right. kind of. But if I just use the red color to store the float, floating point, I that's just at eight bits. So how this thing works is that the red color is the highest eight bits, and then we have uh, the green color, they're eight bits lower, and the blue color, so I get a 24-bit floating point, uh, not a kind of fixed point yeah. number. Uh, because I noticed if I didn't do this, I didn't get high precision enough on the on the on the on the distance field and looked weird. But this is essentially what we're looking at now. It's a distance. So field. Dragon is asking why you did it in F sharp. Uh, because F sharp is my go-to language, so. Uh, on .NET, whenever I do something, I I, I kind of uh, what are the advantages? Well, for me personally, it's my go-to language. That's the language I'm best at writing code in in, in .NET. Uh, Did you say we need, we need to I run mean, this again? Yeah, we need to run it again. Uh, I think it uh, allows me to sort of you know express my express myself shorter, more succinct, and with more confidence than C sharp. Uh, there are some design choices I prefer in F sharp. Yeah. That there are no statements. I get hung up on this I get hung up hung up hung up hung up on stupid stuff. Like there are statements in uh, C sharp. I don't like that. This is a stupid thing. Most people don't care. But I care about <laughs> it. And uh, and F sharp is not without problems, right? One of the the downsides with F sharp is that there's so few people using it. So you're a little bit uh, uh, that's a that's a kind of a big downside, but for me, I prefer it. So let's go up here, and we need to. In, you see here, uh, the, go up, 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 up. Max up. distance. You see the max distance is yeah. fifty. We should increase this to hundred. Okay. We use Scala at work, by the way. Using Scala. Uh, yeah. So Scala is that um, is that one of the the Java runtime things? It runs on Java runtime, yeah. yeah. 
And, and actually, Scala has a reputation of being difficult, and I think it's somewhat justified. But Scala has some interesting ideas uh, that I appreciate. And one of the ideas is that they try to make the language quite small. So the specification for Scala is actually quite small compared to many other languages. But it's, it's a language that allows, us to, allows you to sort of express quite complicated concepts. Yeah, now you see it goes yeah, further up. Nice. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciating Scala a little bit more, but uh, then of course it has some, um, yeah. like with F Sharp, not many people know it. So I'm gonna I'm taking myself out of my comfort zone um, for some of the streams in February. So I'm going to be doing some front end development. Oh, yeah. So um, be yeah, it'd be interesting. very interesting for me. Um, Shall we try to see if we can get this uh, Cobase Alpha distance field into the? Yeah, I just want to do that. Your, uh, yeah. Ah, this is a funky Cobase Alpha, right? It certainly is. It's uh, psychedelic. Uh, but the but the drawback with uh, the way Scala does it right is uh, uh, so is um, that they implement certain concepts that people do as language they do it in library and that makes the when people open the library source code they go like what's going on right. here because the library source code then is perceived as very complex but with a language like Kotlin and C sharp that is hidden from the developer that is a language feature. Yeah. So uh, let, let's add this bit now. Okay. Yeah, and implicit it's in Scala drives people nuts. That's mm -hmm. funny. That's a funny feature. Right, where do you want? Uh, texture one, yeah? The, the text, text one, yeah. I find this DF. Great. And now let's hook out this um, uh, the lighting for a while and sort of hook in the hook in your, um, your uh, cool logo here. Let's make a function here uh, that is called um, a distance function that we call um, float distance code base alpha or something like that. I learned a new function by the way. I'm gonna share that with you, which I felt that was pretty cool. Okay, sounds good. Uh, what are we taking into this uh, distance function? Let me. So you get you send in a position p because we got to we we want to compute a distance from position p to the Cobase alpha logo. So right. Say. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Give me a sec. No Because what I need to find out is um, I forgot the name of the function. <laughs> so I'm going to find the name this, of the function. This effect on the screen is quite hypnotic. It's almost like looking at um, reflections in water as well as being kind of electrical. Yeah, yeah it's very really interesting. Yeah, I think we uh, by just doing a little bit, of, I, th I think we can improve this thing. I think we can make it even better. But I want to hook in this Cobase Alpha yeah. now, so we can sort of see that. So, but I think we've done a good job yeah, already absolutely. with this thing. So, uh, so what we want to do is we want to sample. Uh, we want to sample uh, your text you have here. So let's do that. So you take a vec four equals, uh, or call it color or T or whatever oh, I know, yeah. and then you say texture. And the texture, the texture zero, yes. Oops, I keep putting two T's in for some reason. Okay. Comma P, comma pos. And also what we don't want to, yeah, you have linear there. That's correct. That's what we want to have, right? So now we have that. So what the, and now what you want to return is the distance. Uh, and it turns out that the distance for this thing here is, uh, 
You can start by typing float d equals call x. That, that is the that is the highest eight bits, and that, this is a number between zero and okay. one. Okay. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, and and one is is that we are inside the object, so that should be negative actually, and zero is we are at most outside okay. object. So in order to compute the distance, what we're going to return here, if you type return, is return minus two times d. Plus one, because when it's when yeah, it's, so switch when the side right yeah. five, When it's zero dot five, it means that we are on the line of uh, Cobus yeah. Alpha. But when we are when when d is one, it means that we are at most inside orbit. But that's actually negative. So then we want to be minus uh, one or whatever, uh, and and so yeah. on. Uh, so uh, let's look at how this thing looks now. Uh, so if you um, go back to your uh, main function and you hook out this uh, vec3n here, and then we make a vec3 call. Call equals uh, uh, make it zero. Vec3 call zero. Yeah, you have to make uh, it doesn't understand it. And then, and then you use call yeah. instead. So the way we're going to do it is now if, and then you take the distance instead of distance for a sphere, and we can start with a sphere. So what you do is you make call equal one. So if uh, what I'm doing, if distance is close to zero, uh, so type if apps list. You're gonna make check if it's close to zero. Less than zero zero one or something like that. Okay. Then assign call equal uh, one. That should give us a circle, I hope. Uh, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I, I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> Pretty, pretty rare. There we are. There's a circle. There we have a circle. It's a little bit jagged around the corner, but we see a circle. Now, instead of using uh, the sphere function here, we are going to use the distance Cobus alpha function. So, uh, no, float dist, remove the length and this Let's things. just copy that out, shall we? Um. Yeah, you, you can just copy that. So make, it, make a new line. Float dist. Equal distance Cobus alpha. If if we haven't screwed up here, what we want to see now is something that looks like the Cobus alpha thing we did. And we're going to take in UV. 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 Yep, there it is. Kind of like it. Yeah. Upside down. It's it's upside down. It's not perfect, but it. So we want to make sure it's centered on the screen and uh, uh, not stretched like this. But you know, it's a start. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit, so instead of 0, zero 001, make it a zero 01. So remove the zero here. Uh, may add another zero. Yep, there we are. Yeah, so now start looking like something. So it looks like the distance function actually um, uh, returns something. Yeah. So let's, let's, uh, let's correct this thing here uh, for the size. So you're going to the distance now. Now I found a good function. Oh, this is the function, because, yeah. Yeah. So because in order to correct this thing here, we need to find out the size of the texture. So we can hard code that value, but you know, let's, let's work it out. Yeah. The value. Yeah. So in the distance, in the distance Cobase alpha function, what you what you're going to do is you're going to ask for uh, uh, the texture size, and so the first line in this function should be an i vec two. It's going to be an integer vector, uh, and you can call it size or whatever. I don't know what you no, think yeah. is good. And then you say texture size with a capital S. Equal uh, the texture zero. 
comma zero. It takes a zero comma zero. Okay. And you have it's an extra t. I, I don't know what's happening today. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm obviously like typing t's in, don't I? To me, to me it's a no, business. Oh, absolutely, yeah. This is this is a code based yeah, alpha so, stream, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, if it wasn't like this, it would something would be yeah. weird. Kind of be typing. Not, not really, not really. It was <laughs> you'd you'd know I was a, a fake at that point. It was an imposter. Yeah. So, so now we have that. That's brilliant because now we can actually adjust. Um, right. Uh, so that the, so it, it has the correct uh, dimension because it, it's it doesn't look right. So the way we do it, uh, this is also another thing that I just learned to do, is that we multiply. Uh, the px or the pos x by the ratio. Take uh, pos x multiply by size y divided by size x. I think that's how we do it here. But we need to convert it into float. Okay. So can can you can you convert this? Yeah, so take float there. And not there, you have to do it before. Yeah, the y has to be converted to float. Because now if we divide as an integer, and that doesn't oh, okay. work. Okay, I think so it's yeah, yeah. And remove the. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, do it like that. Yes, that's, that's, that's good. You, you need yeah, I've got it. I'm on it. <laughs> Look at that. Now it looks like it's. Uh, in my head, it looks like it's uh, has the correct. It looks like the right size, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to flip it, uh, let's just try to f multiply pos y by minus one. So we just make it uh, reverse. Yep. There we are. Yeah. So now it, it's in, in the in this quadrant down there. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's not centered. Uh, so uh, just uh, I would say um, I mean it's either add or it's either add subtract. So add uh, take the pos and add uh, a vec to p. It can, it, this might be subtract, but add it with one. See what happens. So, so that was too much. What about adding it by a half? Yeah, we are. Hmm. In the center now. I think it's in the it, center. It is right? it's centered, yes. You can see that it's centered. Yeah. Good. Because there's the bottom of the screen there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Now, what you don't see here. Is that the resolution here now? Of the, we have a distance yeah. field, right? This distance field resolution is quite poor because we only are using the the call x yeah. here. But if you remember, the y part contains the next eight bits. So in in order to increase, uh, maybe if you zoom in here. So let's say if you go here and you multiply this u position by uh, is it so zero dot one or zero dot five or something like that. Yeah, you see here it looks kind of yeah. weirdish, and I think that's because we don't have enough we don't have enough pre precision. So I hope so at least. So let's add let's add the precision here. So we have we want to add the call y, but we need to adjust it by yeah you can add call y and then yeah. it's really weird. Uh, kind of cool looking, but it's weird. But that you know add it. But you need to down, divide it by 256. Didn't really help that much. Oh well. Still weird looking. Doesn't matter. Let's continue. And then you add the said said by uh, and this you need to divide by 256 by 256. Kind of cool looking. Yeah. Can I try yeah, it? Sure can. Uh, 
What happens if you add a multiplication sign here? It's it doesn't look right, but I just like to sort of experiment. It's interesting. It's, it's you doing know, some uh, weird stuff. <laughs> weird stuff. Maybe you make it smaller. Happens. But I think it it did improve a little bit when we added this thing. I here, think right? so. It is it is also it's it's a little bit hard for this thing here to sort of infer the correct shape. Uh, because it's pixelated, so I mean, it's uh, let's let's go with yep. this. Uh, I read about the multi-channel distance field the other day, and that was a way to sort of you know improve this thing here. But this is a, this you it's know a this start, is a start. Yeah. yeah. So now, instead, what happens if we add? Instead, using this distance here and pass the distance into the lighting function, as we discussed. We use that distance, yeah. And then you assign. No, no, no. You, no keep keep call. Okay. But then you assign call equals n. Ooh. Well, you know. <laughs> it's certainly an interesting effect, isn't it? There's like a, a cloud moving by, and then this electrical field around the. Yeah, and 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 we can certainly experiment with this. I mean, this is not the the end of the road for us. Uh, this is. It it sort of flows around. Yeah. It. But the, I believe if we are adding a minus sign, or okay, perhaps a plus sign, you know, this is, you know, okay, perhaps it should be, can I have a plus yeah. sign? Ah, damn it, it's hard. There we go. Ah, oh, we're getting there. <laughs> Let's see if we remove this thing here. Yeah. It's something. It certainly is. It's uh, weird. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit here. So we can study it in, in its glory. So multiply by 0, 5. Mm, yeah. What is this line here? Oh yeah, no, this is the line we no, have. That's correct, yeah. <laughs> it's kinda cool. I mean I don't think we're done here. But it I mean we can read it it says code base alpha. It does. Uh and it says it in a in a weird way, which is always appreciated. That's what we want. Weird. Weird, yes, in my book. Uh what should, what should we do from here, do you think? Yes, I think we probably... Do we need to make... Um, the actual text is a bit kind of... still a bit shoddy, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can... Uh, um, hmm, um, we should add some... Yeah, we, we, should, we should work a little bit on the text thing here, right? Yeah, I think you're right there. Um, uh, and make it a little bit more. Uh, I, I like the lighting. Yeah, the, light, the lighting is working really well. Yeah, and, and we can we we can adjust sort of you know, I don't know ex eccentricity of it we can, because we can just multiply this by a number and take this plus minus. I think think th things will happen, right? But I think you're right. We should do something with the text. I think I've lost uh, the um the menu. Do you know how to bring the menu back? Or to save. Oh, I think you press the Alt key. So you or do. You here, right, Alt key. Yeah. Just wanted to save. I've that. done that mistake. Yeah. So, so I, I was like, hmm, how do I do <laughs> this? Uh, and then um, I, what I did the first time was just restart. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was thinking of. I'm going to have to restart this because I can't see the menus. Yeah. Uh, so, so there are ways to sort of, you know, uh, add a little bit coloring to this. Uh, um, to this uh, to this effect here, right? To see here. 
do, 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 thinking, thinking a little bit. So, so what we want to probably do, let's hook out the lighting effect and start thinking a little bit about making um, uh, the lighting cool, like it, looking good. Uh, but let's improve uh, the Cobus Alpha a little bit here. Uh, what was the? So then you have to you have to make a call equals zero. Zero point zero. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so can I yep, borrow? Totally can I borrow the screen? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a very good function called smooth. Step. Oh, smooth step. Yes. Okay. We we've, we've done that before. Yeah, and uh, and um, let's see if we can use it for something. Let's see if we can uh, plus equal. Can I have that? There you go. Smooth step. Are oh, you catching it now? Uh, zero at one minus zero at one. We have the dist. the T in the smooth. Ah, not only. Yeah, you see, catching us. Hey, it's, uh, it's uh... Yeah, yeah, it's it's. it's... Oh yeah, that's looking good. So now we are adding some kind of. Um... Yeah. So now that looks a lot better, smooth. actually. Yeah, yeah, because this adds a little bit of smoothing. Mm. To the, to the, to the, to the border because if we if we go like this, it becomes much more pixelated. So so this adds a little bit of uh, a smooth effect, right? But what what's nice about the distance field functions is that we can add a, sort of an outer. Oh code yes, good idea. To this thing here, so. I'm going to continue using uh, smoothing functions. Copy. Paste. Shall I do it for you? Uh, I think I got it. There we go. It's late. Uh, and I just want to point out uh, that uh, I know how to use keyboard commands copy paste. Doesn't work here though. <laughs> Let's. Let, I'm going to try uh, zero to one. Is that uh, how it would work? No, one. Okay. Kind of opposite what I wanted, but uh, you know, what if I type here? Oh. Yeah. Interesting. I, uh, it's not perfect. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> pretend it is. Uh, can we have multiplication? We get the glow now. Yeah, some kind of glow. Uh, it's too much. Reduce, but here's the thing with uh, what's nice about this distance field. It's very easy to create the uh, outer glow. There we go, right? yeah. Because the distance is already there, isn't it? So you've already calculated yeah, distances. So it's, 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 it's super simple to sort of, you know, uh, create an out, outer glow function uh, compared to if, if you have a. If you have vectors, it's not as it's not as easy, like uh, because this is already pre-computed kind of yeah. and we can also make an inner inner kind of glow effect. Uh, I'm not sure if the, I'm not sure if this is good, but I'm I'm thinking that this is a start. Uh, let's see now. Uh, let's find them. Um, uh, let's see what happens when we add the lighting effect again to this. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Uh, let me. You let didn't me, do it. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Call plus no oh, plus, plus plus equal. There you go. No. Ah, oh, yeah, undefined. Okay, but that does matter. Ooh. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's something. I think we should. I think we should change the color of the of the text from being such a bright white. Yeah, yeah, it should be it should it should be something yeah. else. I agree. I agree. Let's see what chat says. They didn't say anything. I'm just <laughs> So Dragon, what colour should it be? Yeah. Uh 
Perhaps we should. Maybe it should be a blue. I don't know. What we could do is, uh, we, we can certainly reduce the intenseness here, right? So if we multiply this by 0 0.7, I, I have problems with this multiplication. Didn't help that much. Yeah, we can try mm -hmm. here again. That's, that's certainly uh, less intense now, yeah. Actually, that, that does look a lot better. Mm. I think it's just too bright, so it shows up. Oh, oh yes, it's getting, yeah, yeah. It was, it was showing the um, the pixelation too much when it was so bright, but if we dull it down a bit, it's, it's better. I think here it has some kind of metallic. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Some kind of feel to it. Uh, let's add another zero here. See how much thought goes into this? Huge amount. Let's let's add another zero. See what happens. Now it's like balloons. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, uh, I think it's yeah. Can we remove the text here? There's a full screen. Uh, there's a, so we can see. Yeah. Yeah, but it, when I look at the stream, it looks. Uh, it, it looks good on the stream, yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously it's a lot smaller on, on the monitor I'm looking at, but yeah. So I mean, um, Dragonized thinking blue for the color of the text. I mean, I think I think actually this is pretty cool. Uh, I think we can improve it, but uh, I, I I think I see some potential mm. here. Do I do? Yes. Uh, what would be even cooler if it could be any text? But that is actually doable, but not what we what we have no, right it's, now. No, it, well, this would be good for for opening titles for me. Yeah. Uh, Perhaps we should try to add another kind of lighting layer. You could do, yeah. Different colors. Yeah, like maybe that. a bit of bit See. of purple or um or, or magenta yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Something, something, something like that. Uh, and and then we because it can we can leave the Cobus Alpha text for now, yeah. and then we can come back and think about it. I, at least I find that sometimes works for me. Like, okay, this is interesting, but I don't know really how to continue, and then I'll try something else. Yeah. And then you think of something um, when you're not thinking about it. That's what happens to me. Yeah. Uh, so how how we can do that is when we're doing this loop here, we can compute a second um, uh, but slightly different uh, 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 d. So let's if we call this d one and then we call create d two. So then it changes it, yes. And then you create a D2. Okay. Uh, and let's say, yeah, how should we modify that? What happens if you just take the time plus 10? Here. Yeah. yeah. This is this is this is random stuff. No, uh, and also multiply it by zero dot five. The whole thing. Uh, so the time. The time. Yeah. So the idea is now that this will flow on a little bit different time right. schedule than other one. And then you compute uh, call plus equal, but you instead you take uh, let's take replace d one with d two. So it looks kind of the same, but it flows maybe a little bit slower. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. It does. Yeah, and that's expected because we are messing with the time. Error. Yeah. Yeah, and that might be too much, but let's you know that's interesting. So let's compute a different color that we call. So change change back to D one. 
and then we are computing a new color. And we want to make it more purple. What is purple? That's, that's more red, right? Yeah. No, just leave, just leave it. it as um, coal, okay? Yeah, because we are just it's adding color, color in, okay? Right? So, uh, so increase the redness. I guess zero to five for red. Wow. Yeah. I want to see it in stream now. Okay, if you comment out um, D1 line, how does it look? Yeah, this is the color is not bad, I think. That's a more purple, isn't it? That one. Yeah, I think we want to increase the purpleness, right? So maybe 0 0.7. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it should be more. It should be distinct from the other colors. So we can sort of see them. So what happens if we reduce the blue a little bit? It's very red now. It's nice. It's, it's nice, bad. isn't it? Yeah, let's let's add them together. See what happens. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this zero five is too extreme. Let's change that a little bit. Uh, this zero. This one here. Zero seven, zero seven, zero nine. So they go roughly in the same speed, but not exactly. Hmm. Interesting. I, I think it's interesting, right? Yeah. It's it's. <laughs> It is very, very uh, hypnotic. Yeah, and, so, and it flows. Uh, so uh, it's in. You know, once again, we talk about this sometimes, right? It's pretty cool what you can do with a little bit of math. Well, absolutely, yeah. And, 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 and guessing. <laughs> and guessing. Let's change this multiply by three with uh, multiply by two. See what happens. Uh, I mean, I'm just going into this. Let, let's change that. Where do you like to go? The time. Uh, the flow T2. Uh, yeah, you have multiplied by 3 there. 3. That's, no, no. Uh, zero time is probably okay. okay. But then we take uh, multiply by 2. The whole thing? Uh, to, to, no, to the left side. Left, left, left. Oh, here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I like that. That's actually what's yeah, better. Cause... I don't know what happened, really. No. <laughs> okay. we, we changed the 3 to a 2. That's what happened. Yeah. But it, uh, and, and it, it got, got better, better, yeah. Let's keep it. <laughs> Let's not understand what well, well, but uh, so Sometimes it's not about understanding actually, it, is it, really? I think this looks pretty cool, actually. I don't do. You? I'm just appreciating it. I like the fact now the the, the, the blue and the... Um, and the pink or the magenta are now more distinct because they're, they're yes they're, yes before they were kind of stuck yeah. to each other but now they are more can you remove the text so we can sort of uh, look at the uh, not the text but i mean the the source yeah. code well i think that's pretty good i think that looks uh, i think for people I think for people don't, that wouldn't have seen the stream here, would be pretty bad yeah. though. But, and also that it's real time. Well, that's what always amazes me. That's what, whenever I show these shaders, I, just, I, I do point out then that this is not a video. We are calculating this in real time here. It's 60 yeah. frames per second. I actually think this looks no, pretty I'm, good. No, I'm really happy I, with it. I think it. we can improve it, but I actually think this looks pretty good. What I can see on my screen. I love it. And yeah. I think uh, the, 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 the smooth step has really kind of improved text. It now looks, it looks um, sharp enough to be, um, you know, to be good to the eye, but also yeah. slightly ethereal because of the, um, the lightning going around it. Yeah. So, I think the lighting actually is 
cool now. I Cooler think. than it was, yes. It's, it's, it, having yeah. having changed that three to a two, it, it's improved yeah, it an awful lot. Yeah. Let's all pat ourselves on the yeah. back. Well, it was just, it. just brilliant intuition, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I'm being honest, this is how I do shaders. I, I change numbers. I observe. Is, is, is it getting better? better? Is it yes. getting worse? Yeah. Keep it. Yeah. But that's also what I like compared to when I'm working at work. I mean, I like my job. I think it's a good job. But if I change the three to two at my job, I'm pretty sure it's not going to work <laughs> most of the time. It's not going to be better, is it? Uh, now? Uh, because it's very sort of, you know, I, I, I think you know what I Absolutely. mean. Absolutely. Right? Numbers there are not randomly put into place. They are like, you know, you know what you're doing. It has to be two. It cannot be three because then it doesn't work. But in shade word, just tweak the numbers, see what happens. So throw in a sign function, throw in a mix. Yeah, throw in a sign function or the 10H. 10H, that's, yeah, that's a good one. one. It's, it's probably my favorite function. It's certainly, yeah, it's, it's got so many uses. I mean, it, it's applicable across so many different disciplines. So I'm, it, it is a very, uh, a very fun function. Yeah, so for Dragon, I don't know if you used the. I'm talking to. I don't know if he's in the stream right, but uh, the 10H function, the reason me and uh, SMB loves it so much is because if you have a function that goes towards infinity, but you want to, it to go between 1 and minus 1 instead, but you want to be linear around the zero, so it's roughly like a straight line there, but it doesn't go more towards infinity, just throw a 10H around the, whatever you have. And you get something that is between one, one and minus one, and it's roughly linear around zero. It's yeah. brilliant. And it's ever so easy to, to, to visualize it because you just throw that the the graph of tan h upon a, a I don't know in yeah in Wolfram or whatever. So it's like yeah. If, so when I do shaders, I'm, I'm having a function. This goes towards infinity. I don't want to go to infinity. I want to go between one and one to one. Yeah, tan h. Don't think about it. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it has many other, but also this is uh, something I like about this kind of math here is that math sometimes when you learn in school, sorry, I get into the, I'm the <laughs> sort of tenant here, right? But you learn math for maths itself and you know, learn that this f function is cool because it has these properties and it's you can drive it and it's analytical and all those kind of things. But here in Shady World, you learn this function is cool because it has a specific usage yeah. for me, like in this case, and it's more like practical and the theoretical. But that also builds an interest in the theoretical things. Anyway, what shall we do next? What can we do next? What we can do is try to make this into a, a web show. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can do. It. You want yes, to do we that? can do that. But I think we should remove this power here and optimization here, right? So re let's remove this power function here. And what I think we should do before putting it in the web shader is that uh, we can't make it as good, but let's make it into shader toy. Okay. Um, yeah. Because okay, we can try that. the reason for that? Because the reason for that is that we find all these issues with uh you know shade toys a little bit you know you have to use float when you should uh, you know there are small things right so if if you make this shade toy compatible but we don't have the nice core base alpha but we put in another distance function right we can put another one yeah like a rounded box or something okay. like that and make it look okay easy. so here we are in shader toy let's go and grab grab the code and we'll just pay i'll just paste this code in for now let's paste yeah, keep the main function. That's that's great. Yeah. That's that, that's what we should do. Just take everything. Yeah, just, and just remove it. Uh, also, the main function. Yeah, the main function as well. Okay. I will, I will say that. Do you want to overwrite this one? No, no, keep, keep, keep it because I always forget this. Yeah, me too. And then we replace the main void there with uh, the main function, right? And we get in a frag color 
and the frag color to get it to the right one we div then right it's it's frag chord uh that's so now you can remove the main image but if i remember correctly the frag color uh in order to get the uv remove this uh main image there Oh, and you can keep this line. Yeah, yeah I see. I was, I, that was what I was thinking. So now replace. Um, now we get the frag chord, and we need to adjust it. So the frag chord is the resolution of the image, uh, or is in the in the resolution space. So if you replace in data v text chord with frag chord, line seventy five. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So then we and then it frag chord, yeah. And then you divide by I resolution. Right. Then we should have the correct. And now it won't work, but let's try let's try to compile it. Uh where we are we? You don't see there's a small arrow next to compile. Oh so there is. Okay, let's go and fix all the problems. And uh, now I'm going to work. So we've got eye time. Time is eye time. Haven't done this for a while. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, let's try again. And then we got uh, the textures. Can't remember how to do textures. This, this is not going to work, so let's. Uh, but let's try to fix it so it, it compiles. Uh, text to zero, I channel zero. It it is what it is, right? Yeah, and that's I channel zero as well. I'm remembering now. That's slowly coming back to me. Uh, so and then we got a no operation. Yeah, then mm, wrong operand. Then we've got um, this division of frag code by our resolution is a problem. What well, exists? Uh, frag code is uh... because we've got a vec a vec two on one side and a float resolution is a float. No, is 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 it is it that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this, isn't it? Try, try, try resolution dot xz. Let me let yeah, me sure. try here. No, no I'm uh, I'm gonna start start the shader here. And just quickly see. I thought I remember. Yeah, I I shouldn't have deleted. I knew I shouldn't have deleted that. <laughs> always uh, always gets me. Yeah, it's resolution dot x y. They probably have some extra. Sorry, I pressed the button here. So, my mistake. There we go. And now we've got undeclared identifier U resolution. Yeah, resolution. resolution. So far, not too bad, actually. My resolution. There we are. We got it compiled. Okay, so let's give it a nice, nice little name. Um, Cobase Alpha Lightning Attack. I don't know. Cobase Lightning. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it wants you to type the tags yeah. and, and description. Tag. Yeah, tag, I don't know. Yes, 2D. Something like that. Yeah. You can you can change it later. Okay. Submitted. So there's something going now, on in the background there. What 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 I what I suggest we do here is we comment out the distance 
Kobe's alpha and replace and so but keep the function but we we make a new one so just comment out this old one. Actually, I'll probably have to do it individually, won't I? No, no, you can make a C uh, multi element. Yeah, yeah. Is that in? But that exists in C sharp too, right? I never use them. I always, I always tend to use um. Yeah, okay, you, you learn that, but I think there exists actually. Or you just do if def. That's the, that's, <laughs> the, that's, the, that's the that's the C programmer's way of doing things. Yeah. Okay. And I think uh, you have a main image here that's split. Oh. That's just. So we can just make a circle to start with, and the a circle is just to return length, uh, you know. So simple length pause minus, minus zero point five minus zero point five, and you remove the rest. Try to run it. Just tidy up a bit. There we go. Lightning round the sphere or a circle. I mean, it's uh, it looks pretty cool as well. It does. <laughs> I do like that. It, it's a, it it looks really nice with the two colours. Yeah. Uh, and now when I see this, I get a little bit of inspiration here. Maybe we should make the inner uh, the inner colour. So let's say um, uh, to uh, change the um, sort of the, so we add a little bit of because it looked a little bit flat mm -hmm. here. So we could add a little bit of gradient to the white. Okay. Uh, do you think you should do that, or should let's we just do it? Yeah, let's do it. Web? Might as well have a nice thing on shader tool as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, and what we could do later on, we can make this a, 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 a cube. But I think this looks actually pretty good. It does, it does yeah, it's nice. It looks pretty uh, nice in some sense. Um, how would we do that? Uh, it, it's smooth stepping again. It's always smooth stepping. Uh, so go down there. Okay. You still there? No, sorry. Yeah, I'm just thinking okay. what we should write. We're very really quiet. So how will we do this? It's okay. I'm 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 going as usual to guess a little bit here. Uh, okay, you have to help me here. Uh, so after line ninety two. Type a multiplication sign here. After line line two, or just yeah, no, after, uh, there. Uh, before the semi. There. And then we go smooth step here. So we go to, what I want to do is I want to multi multiply by a smooth stepping function mm -hmm. on this thing here, and that smooth stepping function will uh, will sort of in, increase towards uh, the center of the screen, uh, the center of the. So I would just type. So to start with smooth step zero, uh, first argument zero zero to one to, to one dot one. No minus one, this should be right. Okay, let's try minus one. Uh, probably as probably screwed up. So instead of one minus one. Yeah. And then this. And we see what happens. Probably not gonna be okay. Okay. Well. Something happened. Yeah, I think. I think it's a little bit too intense. Let's say let's change um, zero zero uh, zero to zero minus zero five. Oops. Uh, no, no, not there. Uh, in the smooth stepping function we were working on. So it says zero, and then we change to minus zero five. So I can't see. I uh, can't see where my cursor is. That's the problem. Oh, great. That was the wrong direction. So let's go the other direction. Scientific. 
Yep, needs to be a bit more, doesn't it? Let's say instead of minus one, let's say minus zero, uh, uh, zero dot five. Ah, yeah. How does that look? It's, yeah, it's, 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 I think it just needs to be a bit more pronounced. And what do you mean by well, pronounced? Well, it's just that it it, more... the, the, um, the gradient is, is very subtle, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so let's change uh, 0.5 to 0.25. Needs to be a bit brighter. Uh, let's take the, let's take the square root after that thing. So you take the square root of the smooth step. You see, this is this is, as I say often, scientific. That's ah oh, no, I have an idea now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go on. Yeah, this is good. It's getting there. Actually, I'm, actually, I'm changing my mind oh, yeah. here now. What we're gonna do? So instead, can I borrow? Oh, I can't type here. But copy paste this line, and we go back to uh, the smooth uh, to the to the other code. We'll save this thing so we don't lose it. I mean, save yeah, I'm just putting uh, into into code here. That is also also a good idea. Okay. So we go back to. Cobus Alpha, and now it's called Code Life. I'll go you know, restore work. it, okay. Yeah. Here. So put that line in there. Has it gone? There it is. No, 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 not to replace everything, but just to replace the line you copied. Yeah, which is the D line, wasn't it? This one. Um, it was this. Actually, I can write it from scratch. What I'm I just think? wondering which one it is. Is it the top one or the, that one? one? Okay. But I, I know what I want to write. So I type here. I want a uh, multiplication sign, yeah. please. This is this is what you say. Um, is this bit of inspiration. This times this. Did something happen? Possibly. Uh, it's hard to say whether it improved or not. I can't, can't quite tell. Uh, so what, what I'm thinking was that, no, no, it should be the other direction, right? So this is so this, if this if this is minus one, this should be zero. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I'm just I'm just I'm just love the way that there's this lightning playing right inside the loop of the B up here. I'm just kind of fascinated well, yeah. by that. Uh, uh, well. <clears throat> Let's go back to what we have. This move stepping. This was a fail. Well, we can't win everything. I thought that was good. I said minus dot seventy five. No, eight six mm -hmm. for a reason. Ah, this doesn't work. Or? Maybe if we increase the see how what happens here. Weird. Yeah. Not sure, exactly sure what we ended up with here. Um Lot of uh, gambling. Let's let's comment this thing out here. See what happens. Okay, I'll do it.
Oh yeah, you need to do it. There we go. Okay, now we see something here. Now it's easier to see what we're yeah. doing. Um... It, certainly, it certainly has a very strange effect on the letters. It's very interesting. Yeah. Actually, it's pretty. Fu it's it's pretty funky. Yeah, I agree. And as usual, it's not really what I thought it would do. Right. <laughs> oh, like that's this. really funky. Why is? I really like that. <laughs> what happens to type one here? Yeah, funky town. I need to see it on the screen. Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's almost like nineteen uh, seventies again. What what am I doing here? <laughs> I think I think you're typing random numbers in, and I think we've got a really nice effect from 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 that function, which I'm kind of really digging at the moment. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. It's kind of not what you were aiming for. You're aiming for the word code base alpha with lightning around it, but it's actually something. It's actually something better. It's the the words are kind of the, the letters are phasing in and out of the lightning and merging and turning into outlines of lightning. It's fantastic. I really really like that. And so 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 we keep yeah we it. keep it yeah. I don't know what to, I don't know what I did. No, shall I save that? We let's save it. <laughs> that is Random, randomization but i agree it goes in yeah. and out and you can certainly see it says code by yeah it's certainly you can, especially on the on the stream as i'm looking at the stream it's definitely see it's there but it's 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 a whole it's a step above what we had before just by commenting that out and putting yeah. the smooth step in it's it's really really improved it that's what happens if you comment this thing out does it make any difference no, Not it really. It makes a difference, I think. Let's keep it, put it back then. I don't know what the heck we're doing. It doesn't matter. Shall we make this into a, try to see if we can fit to make this into a, a into a website? Website. Yes. We certainly can. So save this. And then we're gonna. What we're gonna use for a website is we are gonna suggest you. You already cloned my uh, the other effects we did, yeah right? so what we can do is we can go into here and we can have um and create a directory in here do we have uh, one of the this uh, yeah one of the older effects where we had uh, so we can go into here for example and we can grab yeah we need one that where, where we have an image so uh, can... okay yes yeah, so that I forgot one. Um, if you have my old uh, thingy thingy, uh, my old project, I, I think you clone it. Yeah. Or... So that'll be the code life. Is it in the code life, do you think? What? No, I think it's. Uh, did, you, did you call it M, clone M range? That, that one, on. yeah. And you go to the version. And SMB2, SMB2, maybe? Okay. No, I think that... Yeah, that's got an image in it. Let's click click the indexation here. See what happens. Uh, run it, I was thinking. Yeah, it's got an image in it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, let's, uh, t let's base it on this one. Uh, boop, 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 boop. <sighs> Go away, come on. Can't see where my... Uh... Let's get me down here. I'm going to check off because that'll be doing something horrible to my stream. It works fine, on the stream, is it? Actually. Yeah, yeah, it looks nice. Well. But I'm not sure what the, what, what you're struggling with. But uh, <laughs> I'm struggling to try and close that tab. If I click here, it doesn't want to close it, and it's really behaving. Really is it because of this control thing? I was it is, yes. I was trying to stop it being pinned. There it's gone. There we are. Weird. Okay, that was very really strange. Okay, so. Yeah. 
So let's get, make a copy of this whole uh, folder, I think. Well, I can just grab these two, can't I? Yeah, you can do that, yeah. Yeah, we're we'll going to our shaders directory. And we want that distance field. Yes, the magic distance field uh, thing. Named according to my principles. Absolutely, as brief as possible. Yes. If I can understand it in a, in in one week, it's something wrong. <laughs> yeah. So and then we change the we change the um, the image right down right down, down the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. To uh, DF, and then we should. If you take your, um, if you take the version that is compatible, that will be with, the one that's uh, up in Shader Toy. Yes. Uh, which is this lot. Yes. Right. So you you don't remove the pre prelude, but you remove everything. You remove what's be below the prelude. So created by M range, do you remove that thing? Let's go down. So the idea here with this driver is to sort of make it roughly compatible with Shade Toy. Okay, and then we had some changes here, didn't we? So let's. But we can see if this works. Okay. Right? Yeah. You can see start by this. So if you're lucky this just boots up with uh yeah, let's keep that. Okay. No, no, keep that. Keep that. So we just see if it sort of you know start. So save and click it and see what happens. Yep, we got the sphere. This is too easy. Yeah. So now you remove the um, the thing. What's this um this function? And take back your old function. And save it. Uh, one thing I wanted to do before we did anything else uh, was to change this. Let's get electric with Cobas out. <laughs> You're not Swedish, you don't know that no. song, but uh, that's a song from my youth. Okay, so texture size, no matching overloaded function. Okay, cannot come up from me. But... So let's have a look. Texture size, okay, what did it say there exactly? Uh... So there's a problem with the text this one here. Yeah. So let's can we see the error message again? Yep. We can always hard code it. It's I mean it's not beautiful, but it's possible to do it. Can it for float to an int? So I think it's thinking it's we've got an uh, an i an ivec. So maybe it's coming back with a. Can I convert const medium float to medium? Two component vector of int. That's really wrong. A texture is wrong as well. Is it because it calls texture 2D? Uh, so close this thing. Uh, okay, we hard code it uh, so we don't get stuck in this thing, yeah. right? So if you go back to uh, what is called this uh, uh, code, uh, code life. That's code life again. Okay. So in Code Life, you can see if you go on the shade stage, you can see the size of the image. So it's uh, four. I don't see four hundred by two forty. Okay, so let's just hard code that thing. Brilliant, right? No, 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 no. Let's not hard code it here. Here. It oh, okay, right, yeah. We just do it where it doesn't work. In my opinion, right? So, 
We can probably make it work as well, but I, I cannot figure it out right now. Yeah, the undo function is not. No, it wasn't very good. Yeah. So don't make mistakes. Yeah, well, it's, it's trying good. to teach you not to make mistakes, isn't it? Yeah. So I would just comment this line out and make a new line. And make maybe I just type uh, the, what's it, 240? 400 by 240, yeah. by, Instead of this, uh, no, no, use you, okay. Use a vector, yeah. I was just thinking that you comment out the next line as well. Okay. And then you, Type pos x multiplied by uh, was it two forty? Uh, four four hundred was it? Four hundred. No, no, it's y divided by. Not that. Uh, and you need and it, you need to be uh, dot Five, zero dot yeah. zero. Uh, what I was referring to during is the is control Z works, but it the undo steps are too small sometimes. Where in uh, Visual Studio is better at undoing a complete logical unit of work in some. That's software. right. It was undoing each letter as I was, <laughs> I was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so it is just undoing each letter, which is not what you want. You want to sort of you know bigger the texture. Okay, but I remember this is a problem that we sometimes have, right? So I think I think it's because the function is called something else. Here. Right. Okay. Uh, so if you go back, oops, yeah, texture two D I think it's called. Yeah, two D. Yeah. Uh, okay. I said it was too easy. So I jinxed us. Okay, we don't see no, much. No, no image. But it could be that we are... Uh, uh, Using eye channel zero. And you've got image zero here. Okay, but let's... Uh, let's uh, this function we were thinking with here, right? Let's take the correct function from... Uh, in, in your... Uh, Let's take the correct function from um, Code Life. So you go to where I was thinking this last thing. So take take line hundred eight. Like so. I I don't think it will help, but let's see what happens. Right, okay. No. If if you bring up the debugger, what does it is, what does it say? Text. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, okay. this is the size yes. thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what do we do? Okay, so we cannot generate this mipmap filter here. That is the issue. Well, well, what? At least one issue. So let's go to that. so mipmap filters uh, uh, requires that the at least in this version of OpenEL, requires that the image is of the dimension, it needs to be a quadratic, and it needs to be 256 or 512. Yeah. You know, so it, but we are not that. So let's look in the web driver code. I think this is reasonably easy to fix. OK. Uh, so scroll down. Uh, we'll search for mipmap. We should probably find some. Just change that to uh, linear, not mipmap. This here. Yeah. Linear. And here as well. Yeah. And then I think we have a generate mipmap. Remove that. Com or comment it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What have we? Can we? If you search for mipmap. It's a very weird name, by the way, when I think about it. But it's nice to say. <laughs> so, 
Okay, well, yeah. let's uh, make another try then. There we go. Pretty cool. Make it full screen. You can uh, you remove this debug stupid one. Oh, okay, you have to reload it again because uh, I capture this uh, content. <laughs> it's so funky. I want to see it on the screen, so I'm waiting now. Yeah. I just love that. <laughs> I just love the way the, the letters morph, but that you can see what they are. They're just flickering out of existence. Yeah, I mean, certainly see it. Drag, Dragon Eye, is it, is it coming through on the stream? Okay, or, or is the or is the compression wrecking it? I see the stream, and I think there are some compression which reduces the um, fidelity of it. But you certainly see it, right? It's not like it's distorted. Right. Uh, maybe a dragon can also, yeah. but it's not this, like when you do this infinite elf. That is a little bit too much uh, for the stream, perhaps. But this, I think, this comes along fine. Dragon says it looks nice. Uh, so good. Yeah, uh, the lines look a little bit blurry, but I don't think it's you know. That's just the way it is. <laughs> so we all, I think we we might have a new, uh, I don't know where we want to use it, but I think we have a new uh, Cobase Alpha hype screen or whatever. Yes, or, um, well, it could be used many places, but yeah. Yeah, and I mean... This works on a generic distance field, so if you find a better font that you want to experiment Just generate with, the distance field again, can't we? You generate a new distance field, and you replace this one with that. Excellent. And you can, of course, experiment in, in code life. That's much faster. Oh, yeah, yeah, theory, true, right? yeah. But, but it's, the, it's generic in a sense that this is not hard-coded against uh, this image. It's, it's generic. I think it's fabulous. And you can also, let's imagine, I don't know who does the graphics, but let's imagine you can make a 2D graphics thing here, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, with Kobe stuff. I don't know how, to, how, how it would be done, but I imagine you need some areas that are roughly, you cannot have too much details. But if you made that a 2D graphics and you then made that into a distance field, you could sort of electrify it. Yeah, that. yeah, absolutely. So I think that is an interesting idea for you to... To think about, I think we don't. This is pretty cool, but I think you can take it even further by having a little bit cooler content. Yeah, because it's it's, it's just a as I say it's just the words in a in an optically interesting font, as you say. So if you can get some kind of something yeah, graphical, we, we yeah, took a basic basic font, and we typed Kobe Co Alpha, and you know, like the professional graphics artists <laughs> we are, and and we generate this piece, and, and I think if if you can experiment with some two D stuff on this, uh, no, some mono, you no know, black and white yeah. images, I think you can find something really cool. I cannot imagine it really right now, but I think that you can make something really cool looking. Well, I think we've done something really cool looking this evening, and, and yeah, it's yeah. amazing when we start off with a noise function. You know, and, yeah, and you, know, you can't really, really predict what we're going to end up with, but we've ended up with this. Yeah, and then we multiply by two instead of three. Yeah, and, and then all of a sudden, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much. That's brilliant. Yeah, I think we kind of have a stream. We have. Right? We certainly have. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied. I think we should stop when we are on top. I'm going to. Um, so I'm going to push this up to um, Git. I hope uh, Dragon Eye enjoyed. Not so many watchers tonight, but uh, at least one. Oh, guy. That's right. We don't. We don't need. We don't need hundreds of viewers. We just it's need some people who are interested. Quality viewers. <laughs> quality viewers. That's right. Dragon Eye is always dependable. Yeah. So let's um, commit this and then push it up to um, up to get to where Dragon Eye can grab hold of it and have a play. Um, and a nice factor as well here that we see here is uh, I like we also have a little bit of 
cloud in the yes background. i like that as well the, 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 it's not just a black background there is actually some kind of texture going on at the background there yeah well that's pushed it's we push very shortly there we go yeah i think yeah but use this i think we have done something that can be used it's up to you guys it's your studio well yeah i'll, I'll, I'll have a play with it yeah i would be happy to see it We've also got a new cool um, shader up on the. Oh, 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 this is this is actually quite nice in its own right, isn't it? Because it's you can almost you can almost force your eye into seeing that as a sphere, and the lightning yeah, is kind of I licking mean, around it, isn't it? Yeah, and we can tweak on that as well if you later mm. on. But uh, I think it's actually on its own right is okay, and you did it not for the sphere you did it for the more interesting distance thing but this is you know nice looking lighting mm. effect with uh, s -Wing. i think it's okay yeah, me too. Well, i didn't save didn't i save oh we did probably made some changes didn't we yeah some minor yeah. changes some tweaking that probably was a failure mm. i think i did save it Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, Morton, that was a, f a really great stream. Yeah, hope you enjoyed did, it. Really hope, much. Uh, everybody enjoyed it. I did enjoy <laughs> it. Okay. Well, uh, to be honest, it felt a little bit in the beginning. Oh boy, when it was just greyish, then you're like, yeah, how is this going to turn out? Well, that, that's that's the kind of reward about staying to the end, isn't it, of the stream? Because you could you could dip in at the start and uh, <laughs> and you'd see it, uh, some noise or or a white line bouncing up and down, thinking, where's this going? But yeah, you can see where it ends up. And so random coding on top of oh, that. Well, that's all part of it. Flying by numbers, taking the power function. Yeah, it looks better. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go find someone to to raid. Um, so next stream, I'm going to be doing some um, some front end stuff. We're going to be using Gatsby and uh, Semantic UI and see what what I can make a fool of myself as a front end developer, which I'm not. But that's what. I've got a plan for the next stream. Is uh, is Robert Tables one of the? Yeah, he's he's a, a Gatsby man, but uh, I'm trying not to. Um, I'm trying to just. I'm going to be installing Node as the first step. Yeah. So I'm going to go right from first first principles and try and kind of um, learn it along with people who maybe who might want to join the stream. So it's. I was thinking, is he, is he a guy you want to raid? Uh, is is Robert Tables actually on at the moment? Is he? Yeah, it's, it looks like. Okay, that. let's have a look. Maybe I'm wrong. I, you know, it could be. In... Let's have a look. State machines. That sounds interesting. Let's just move this over here. Raid. Whenever I do state machines, I do it with T4. No joke. So you'll have to, you'll have to say you should do this by T4. Okay, let's go and raid Robert Tables then, shall we? So uh, thank you everyone for joining uh, the stream. Uh, it's been a really interesting one. And I'll see you next time. I'm not sure when the next stream will be. It'll probably be next Monday, but I may try and get one in before then. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.